you have advice for uh, um, any other parents in terms of the kids stuff? Because I know you said there's just you collect toys. Yeah. And I know that that's been a particularly hard part and one that I'm not qualified to answer. Yeah. So um, do you have any thoughts I've on that? I've been trying to be mindful of the types of toys that we bring into the house. A lot of the stuff that I'm like, yeah, let's go buy that are toys that I wanted when I was a kid. Yeah. So we have like Perfection and Etch-A-Sketch and like a couple of these other like retro toys. Cool, that, yeah. But I'm trying to also focus on toys that have some sort of benefit. So like Perfection is motor skills and same with Etch-A-Sketch, hand-eye coordination, you know, just trying to be mindful about that. I'm also trying not to do things with a lot of little pieces like Legos are the only thing. <laughs> Because otherwise, it's such a beast to clean up. It was just his birthday, so he asked for a couple of things. One was like a logic game. He goes to a Waldorf school, so they're very focused on outdoor play and creative play. Mm. So I got him these clips so that he can, these wooden clips so that he can clip um, like drapes and bed sheets and stuff to create stuff. Like yeah. he's actually a pretty inventive, creative kid. So I want, I feel like less is more. And he just shines in those moments and he loves to read. So books are like the one thing that you want a book. I'll buy you a book um, because I also get bored of reading the same books over and sure. over. <laughs> sure. And we do a lot of library. Like last year for his birthday, we did library books. We said, bring us a library book. Give us the receipt so I know when to return it by. And it was awesome because we got like 30, 40 books Books, most of them we've never, I would have never chosen for him to pick up and they were really fun. Yeah. And this year we're trying to do experiences. So I set up a website with different things and activities here in Minneapolis mm -hmm. and you click on a picture and then the parent can send me an email saying like, I want to go to the library with you and Yash one day. So trying to create memories with his friends instead of another piece of junk essentially but so, with his so you built a website yeah that other friends of yours yeah. so i sent like the parents for with the invitation for the birthday i sent parents the link to the website saying you know for gifts this year we we request the gift of time click on this website there's like 30 or 40 things that i chose minneapolis institute of art snapology this art place this you know Let's just play in a park. Let's do a house play date. Let's do a dinner date. Um, and then, yeah, some of the parents actually have sent an email saying, hey, let's do the library or let's do Edinburgh Park. or, And it's, you know, a little self-serving because now I have some play dates planned. <laughs> but it's super helpful. And it's a way for us to celebrate our kids and say, look, we're doing this because you're turning five. Your friend was turning five this year. And we want to give you guys the opportunities to to make solid connections with each other that's amazing it, not only just because you kind of created that to do this thing but but i know when i look back on my life there are a few toys that i remember but what i really remember the most fondly are the the things that revolved around time spent yep and by yeah. things i don't mean things at all i just mean yeah the, the moments, the time, yeah. the experiences yeah. as a kid, I just did not care about the quality of place we were. The, yeah. All these things you go back as an adult, you're like, wow, this this place is not that nice. <laughs> but you just don't care as a kid. Yeah, uh, None of those things matter. And you go do this thing and it's just everything. Yep. So that's really cool. And, and I just encourage people to just try to focus things around those experiences because that's what kids remember at least from my own personal experience yeah. having been a kid 